Thank you, Madam Speaker, and thank the gentleman from Ohio for yielding. Madam Speaker, our nation still mourns the unacceptable violence and anarchy that took place in this Capitol last week. As we speak, arrests are still being made, and the anarchists who stormed our Capitol are being brought to justice, as should be the case. Emotions are still high, but in this moment, we need to be focused on toning down the rhetoric and helping heal this nation as we move towards a peaceful transition of power to President-elect Joe Biden next week. My prayers, Madam Speaker, are still with Capitol Police Officer Siegnick and Liebengood, who we lost, as well as all of the Capitol Police officers who risked their lives to keep us safe. They are true heroes, and they deserve all of our applause today. Madam Speaker, I've seen the dark evil of political violence firsthand, and it needs to stop. But all of us need to be unequivocal in calling it out every single time we see it, not just when it comes from the other side of the aisle. I oppose this rushed impeachment brought forward without a single hearing. And by the way, the Senate will not even take this up until President Trump is out of office. So let's keep that in mind. It will only serve to further divide a nation that is calling out for healing. Madam Speaker, many speakers today have invoked one of our nation's greatest leaders, President Abraham Lincoln. Maybe we should follow some of Lincoln's wisdom that he's imparted upon us in moments like this. As Abraham Lincoln was giving his second inaugural address in March of 1865. Lincoln issued us a challenge. This is what he said. With malice toward none, with charity for all, with firmness in the right, as God gives us to see the right, let us strive on to finish the work we are in, to bind up the nation's wounds, to care for him who shall have borne the battle and for his widow and his orphan, to do all which may achieve and cherish a just and lasting peace among ourselves and with all our nations. Madam Speaker, in times like these, let us, let us not reach out to our darkest demons, but instead, like Lincoln, seek the higher ground. May God bless this great United States of America. I yield back. Hey. Did you know we have a video podcast called WJ Live? The Western Journal's mission is to equip readers with the truth. That's the exact same mission we have on WJ Live. You'll hear from writers, editors, and special guests on the most important topics of the day. You can watch it live every day at 5 p.m. Eastern, 2 p.m. Pacific at youtube.com slash WJ Live. While you're there, help us out by subscribing and hitting the bell so you won't miss out on any future episodes.